Silence and revival the silence stretched on for endless months, a hush that seemed to swallow the stars themselves. Voyager 1, a spacecraft older than the internet, older than most of those who now listen for its voice, had gone quiet. 15 billion miles from Earth, it drifted alone through the dark gulf between suns. No signal, no heartbeat, only silence. A silence so deep, so absolute, it felt as though the universe itself had pressed pause. As if creation were holding its breath. It was as though a heavy curtain had fallen between humanity and its most distant creation. Scientists waited, calling out across the void. They listened. They strained their ears to the static of infinity. But there was nothing. Only static. After nearly 50 years in flight, the most distant human-made object in history appeared to have fallen silent forever. The last ember of a journey that began in 1977 now flickered out in the cold. Hope began to dim. The endless dark seemed final. But then, a whisper returned. A trembling pulse cut through the cosmic quiet. Not a routine update, not a system check, something far stranger. What Voyager sent back was not just data. It was revelation. A message from the edge of everything we know. It shattered an ancient illusion, the belief that beyond the solar wind, there was only emptiness. Because Voyager had found something else entirely. Beyond the boundary of our sun's reach lay not silence but structure. Movement. Pressure. Boundaries woven into the dark. When Voyager crossed the heliopause in 2012, it became the first human-made object to truly leave the sun's protective bubble. Many believed that would be the end, that it would fade, lost forever in the endless night. But in April 2024, a faint signal returned. A flicker, delicate, ghost-like, yet unmistakable. And what it began to transmit next shook the foundations of modern astrophysics. Because beyond the heliopause, space was not still. It hummed. A low-frequency vibration, steady, deep, rhythmic, flowed through the void like the heartbeat of something immense, unseen, and alive. Voyager's plasma wave detector was the first to sense it, a whisper hidden inside the noise. The hum was joined by bursts of plasma density, tiny spikes of energy, echoes of ancient stars long dead before Earth ever formed. It was as if Voyager had sailed into the memory of the universe itself. The emptiness we imagined was, in truth, an ocean, an unseen sea swirling with invisible tides and energy. And in that vast cosmic ocean, our tiny golden probe drifted on, fragile, enduring, navigating the tides of eternity. As it ventured deeper, Voyager's instruments began to reveal landscapes no telescope could ever capture, not images of light, but portraits drawn in magnetism, plasma, and invisible currents. Its magnetometer detected wild, twisting currents, a clash between the sun's magnetic field and the greater galactic field beyond. But it wasn't chaos. It was rhythm. It was order, written in the secret language of energy. Perhaps the Milky Way itself possesses a hidden skeleton, a framework of colossal magnetic filaments threading across the galaxy, unseen by human eyes. Rivers of force, guiding where stars form, where matter gathers, where radiation flows like invisible tides. Voyager had crossed one of these thresholds, a frontier where two vast cosmic powers collided. A surge of high-energy particles streamed toward it, ghostly messengers from shattered stars and distant black holes. It was a storm of raw power, the breath of ancient suns colliding with a human-made machine. This was no gentle crossing. It was sudden. A cliff, not a shoreline, a sharp transition that redefined what a boundary in space could be. By late 2023, the mission seemed lost again. Voyager's signals grew faint, broken, distorted by cosmic rays. 
But NASA's engineers did not surrender. They searched. They analyzed. They believed. At last, they traced the failure to a single dying memory chip. And then, they attempted the impossible. From 15 billion miles away, they performed digital surgery, rewriting Voyager's ancient brain using backup systems older than most of those now listening. Each command took nearly a full day to arrive, and another to return. A 48-hour heartbeat stretched across space and time. It was like performing brain surgery on a patient you could never touch, using tools older than your parents, across a gulf no human could ever cross. And it worked. One by one, Voyager's instruments flickered back to life. Engineering data first, then the magnetometer, then the plasma wave detector, and finally, the cosmic ray sensors. Each awakening was a heartbeat returning after a long coma. Each signal, a whisper from the stars. Voyager wasn't just revived. The living galaxy, the revelation in the living galaxy was more than a return to function. What Voyager sent next was not just data, not merely numbers and graphs. It was vision, a glimpse into the invisible anatomy of the cosmos. For the first time, humanity saw a living map of interstellar space, a portrait of the unseen galaxy, drawn not in starlight, but in the silent handwriting of plasma, radiation, and magnetism. Scientists began to call it the first galactic GPS, a guide not for travelers of planets and moons, but for explorers of plasma clouds, magnetic rivers, and radiation belts threading through the vast black. Voyager had already crossed two interstellar cloudlets, immense fog banks of charged gas drifting between the stars. Each region had its own temperature, its own magnetic pulse, its own rhythm within the galactic hum. Each crossing was like stepping between worlds, unseen continents floating in the endless cosmic sea. Every discovery added a new layer to the map, a new verse to the silent song of the Milky Way. These were not just measurements. They were milestones, the first roadmaps of interstellar space. One day, future spacecraft might sail these magnetic highways, riding the invisible currents of plasma and energy, avoiding deadly storms, navigating through the soft turbulence of the galactic tides. But Voyager's findings carried something even deeper. They offered a glimpse into the process of creation itself. The magnetic filaments it traced, those glowing threads of power stretching across the stars, might be the veins through which the galaxy breathes. Channels where new suns ignite, where worlds are born, where cosmic matter becomes alive again. Voyager had become more than a probe. It had become a cartographer of the cosmos, an artist sketching the invisible skeleton of the Milky Way. For centuries, we thought the space between stars was empty, silent, smooth, lifeless. But Voyager revealed a stranger truth. It is not empty. It is alive. It moves. It changes. It remembers. A vast ocean of plasma and energy fills the darkness, its tides rising and falling in eternal rhythm. Invisible storms sweep across the void, currents of power, unseen yet immense. Even silence itself hums with hidden motion. Scientists now call it interstellar weather, a restless ballet of plasma waves, magnetic tempests, and cosmic winds that dance across light years. Every pulse Voyager hears, every whisper it records, reminds us that the galaxy itself is breathing. In the farthest reaches, it still detects a low, steady tone, a deep, evolving hum that never fades. Some call it background noise. Others call it the heartbeat of the Milky Way. Space is no longer a flat emptiness scattered with stars. It is terrain, a landscape of radiation and magnetic force, alive with motion and history. Every fluctuation in plasma flow, Every spike of cosmic rays, every echo in the hum, these are not random. They are landmarks. 
coordinates in a living universe. And Voyager is mapping them all, charting the unseen framework of existence itself. Hidden within those magnetic folds may lie the blueprints of creation, the secret patterns of how galaxies form, how stars awaken from darkness, how the Milky Way breathes its endless rhythm. Voyager 1 was never built to find life. It was built to listen. To endure. To speak for as long after our own voices fade. It carries no weapon, no purpose of conquest, no pride or fear. Only questions. And the answers it now sends back are as profound as any discovery of alien life could ever be. That the void is not void at all. It is structure. It is memory. It is history, written in the quiet code of magnetism and light. We once thought our solar system was a sealed bubble, a bright island adrift in a dark ocean. But Voyager tells another story, that we are part of a living sea, a cradle woven from the ghosts of stars long dead. Voyager's discoveries are not dreams. They are real, ancient, vast, alive. Every pulse it captures, every whisper it sends home, reminds us of something timeless. We were never meant to stop at the edge of the sun's domain. We were meant to go further. To listen deeper. To understand that space is not absence, but presence. A story waiting to be read. Fifteen billion miles from home, our golden-plated messenger still drifts. Still listens still whispers home. And perhaps, through that faint returning signal, the universe is whispering back. Because out there, beyond all we have mapped, beyond all we have believed, Voyager 1 proves a truth greater than distance, that the real frontier was never space. It was the act of reaching for it.